Hi and welcome to this product spotlight video where I'm going to highlight a particular subset of our products, those featuring an integral short circuit isolator or SCI. And I'll explain how they work and where and why you'd use them. But before we start, click the subscribe button and then the bell icon to be notified of all of our new video content. Products with SCIs have been gradually introduced into our ESP addressable range over the last few years to cater for the legal requirements of some specific markets and regions, giving our customers that extra flexibility when designing and installing fire detection systems. But what exactly is a short circuit isolator and why do we need them integrated within our fire detection products? On a healthy adjustable fire system, the voltage from the fire control panel is driven one way around the loop, powering devices and carrying data. Fire loop cables can be accidentally damaged by tools or other equipment, particularly if not mechanically protected by a conduit. And if the positive and negative conductors within the cable come into contact with each other, that voltage level drops. This is a short circuit. Let's take a look at how the SCI operates in closer detail. In this example, we see devices on a loop connected to a fire control panel without any SCIs fitted. The loop voltage is driven by the panel in one direction, supplying power and communications data from each device back to the panel using both the positive and negative conductors. If the loop cable is damaged and a short circuit occurs, the loop drive will stop and the voltage level drops. Without voltage on the loop, the fire control panel can't receive any data from any device and so in effect, the whole loop of devices is lost. In this second example, this manual call point and this smoke sensor both feature an integral SCI. Short circuit isolators are essentially electronic components within a device that will monitor the incoming and outgoing voltage passing through the device from the loop cables. If for any reason the voltage level drops below a set threshold, the isolators activate, instantly maintaining the loop voltage for the rest of the loop. So again, let's introduce a short circuit through damage to the loop cable here at this point. But instead of the loop voltage stopping and the panel losing communication with the loop devices, the isolators within these two devices now activate. As soon as they detect the drop in voltage, they open, which in effect separates the two conductors again, allowing the voltage to continue to be driven. At the same time, the fire control panel recognises it's no longer receiving a return loop drive voltage and switches to driving the voltage from both ends of the loop. This means that on either side of the short circuit, the voltage can continue to flow and the panel can still supply power and receive data from the loop devices. This happens instantaneously. And not only does this maintain the loop's integrity, but the section of loop that's been compromised is isolated, hence the name. Hopefully you can see just how important short circuit isolators are in maintaining system integrity. And you might be asking yourself, so how come all products are manufactured with integral SCIs as standard? Well, it's simply down to the standards for the specific region. Take BS5839, for instance. For our industry in the UK, it's the go-to guide to design and installation of commercial fire detection systems. In BS5839, it is recommended that an isolator is only required once in every zone, and that a zone could be anything up to 2,000 square meters. In other words, it's perfectly acceptable to lose a whole zone due to a short circuit on the loop. Whereas in some regions, the local standards might dictate that every device type change on the loop, you need to install an SCI. So now that we've explained what an SCI does and how they can be used to protect fire detection systems from short circuits, let's take a closer look at the current addressable devices from Hojiki that feature an integral SCI. Each of our standard addressable ESP sensors are also available as versions with integral SCIs. There's an optical smoke, a heat, and a smoke heat multi. The LEDs on these devices are tri-coloured, green when polling, red when in alarm, and amber when the isolator is activated. 
Now, to operate as SCI sensors, all three of these devices must be mounted on our YBBR4 mounting base. That's because this base has the additional terminal required to connect the SCIs within each device. Next, we have our I.O. modules, and there are seven modules in this range that feature an integral SCI. And again, an amber LED will indicate when the isolator has been activated. Each of these modules is designed to perform a specific function within the fire detection system. And if you'd like to learn more about these products and where they're best utilised, take a look at our CHQ module explainer videos available right here on our YouTube channel. Our adjustable manual call points both feature an integral SCI and there's an internal use version which can be surface fixed or semi-flushed and an IP67 weatherproof version for exterior use at final exits for example. And finally to the newest addition to the ESP range of SCI devices, the YBO BS2 SCI bass sounder. This generation of our sounder base is the first one to feature an integral SCI and can be used as a standalone sounder with the simple addition of a cap or combined with a sensor. And in case you were wondering what would happen if you fitted one of our SCI sensors onto one of our SCI base sounders, well, as it's the base sounder that's physically connected to the loop cables in this instance, the SCI functionality is active in that device not the attached sensor, which would just perform as a standard sensor here. So there you have it, a complete family of SCI enabled devices from our ESP intelligent range. Wherever you might need a short circuit isolator, we have a device to suit. And for those markets where the majority of devices on fire detection systems have to feature an SCI, this extended range of products gives you that extra flexibility when it comes to system design. Thank you for watching this video on our SCI family of ESP devices we have been speaking this morning. For further information, please visit our website at the address coming up on the screen in a moment. And don't forget, you can also follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook to keep up to date with our latest news. See you next time.